Another issue continues to cause controversy tonight. The debate surrounding face masks and forcing people to wear them as COVID-19 continues to spread. The approach is different from province to province and there is mixed reaction right across our country. While most people understand the reasons for wearing masks, today a movement against mandatory face coverings held protests in major centres in Canada. Julia Foy reports. A visit to a Montreal Tim Hortons turned ugly when police officers had to wrestle a man to the ground after he refused to wear a mask. Pour un mask là. A new mandatory mask mandate in Quebec means shop owners must ensure customers wear one or face fines. We're of course not asking merchants to physically get into a scuffle with, uh, with someone who wouldn't comply. So in that case, they called the police to ask for the person to be expelled. There were several anti-mask protests across the country this weekend as the debate continues over whether masks should be mandatory. You telling me that you actually lied to us back in April, but now I'm supposed to believe you? It's a joke. We should be allowed to choose what we want to do with our bodies. Although health officials did not promote general mask use early in the pandemic, things have changed. Scientists believe that wearing masks can help curb the spread of COVID-19. But if you're indoors, you can't guarantee that the air is moving really uh, uh, well. And if it is aerosol, you can get a much higher dose. And in that situation, it's good to keep that stuff out. Right now, the rules vary from province to province. Quebec, a COVID-19 hotspot, just made wearing masks mandatory in all indoor public places as cases surge. In Toronto, face coverings are also required in public spaces. In Nova Scotia, they're mandatory on public transit. Elsewhere in the Maritimes and Western provinces, masks are not mandatory, but they are recommended on transit, inside public facilities, and where physical distancing can't be followed. Masks are safe to wear. They do not cause you to become hypoxic. They do not increase your risk of, of keeping viruses or bacteria or other things in. Um, you know, they do not exacerbate uh, asthma or other lung conditions. Experts say wearing a mask may ensure you can still enjoy your phase three freedoms. Julia Foy, Global News, Vancouver. U.S. President Donald Trump says he's against making Americans wear face masks in public, despite a surging death toll in his country that is far outpacing estimates. 140,000 Americans have now died of COVID-19, and close to half a million people tested positive in just one week. But now the president says those statistics from America's top health agency are false. Here's Jennifer Johnson. As the U.S. reports over 70,000 new cases of COVID-19 a day, President Donald Trump says he will not support a nationwide mask mandate. I want people to have a certain freedom, and I don't believe in that, no. And I don't agree with the statement that if everybody wear a mask, everything disappears. The president's own health experts, including CDC director Dr. Robert Redfield, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, and others have repeatedly said cases of the virus will significantly decrease if everyone wears a mask. We're capable of figuring out what to do. If we want to see this current surge, and it's a real surge, uh, to turn around, all Americans need to recognize it's up to us. Wear a mask when you're out of your house. In an interview with Fox News Sunday, the president again criticized Fauci and others for, quote, being wrong about the virus. Because I've been right probably more than anybody else. And he disputed figures from Johns Hopkins University that America's per capita COVID-19 mortality rate is the seventh highest in the world. You have the numbers, please? Because I heard we had the best mortality rate. Meanwhile, as schools debate reopening, sobering news that no child at any age is safe from the virus. 85 infants in one Texas county have tested positive. In Arizona and Florida, death tolls are the highest ever. The residents here are terrified. And I'm terrified for the first time in my career because there's a lack of leadership. Even Senate Republicans are battling the president. Some in his own party are pushing back against a White House attempt to block billions for more testing and contract tracing as their constituents demand an end to this crisis. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.